This is Diane Steinbaugh, and I want to show you one of my personal series is that I've been working on since March, April 2020. Essentially, I started when we were all sent home during the pandemic, and I panicked because I thought I was going to run out of art supplies, and I had to figure out something to do. So this was a series that I sort of stumbled upon. Um, and there was another thing going on. We had to have lots of Zoom meetings, which lasted like an hour, hour and a half. And I have a really hard time paying attention to listening if I'm not drawing. So I was trying to find something to do while I was doing Zoom meetings. Well, listening, I didn't get to do much talking. So I decided to cut up boxes that we had at home. We had, you know, cereal boxes, and that's what I wanted to work on, was this tan color. And I decided to do portraits. I can't remember which was the first one, if it was this one or this one. But um, for some reason, I decided to do pen work for the hatching and the shading. I would start with pencil and then I would do the pen and then the brown cardboard wasn't quite enough for color for me so I just started to add little bits of colored pencil in some places and that one has white colored pencil and some of them have white pen. So this is how the series went. I started doing portraits and these are just, these are people off of this thing called Sketchy. Uh, I'm trying to get it so that the shadow on the picture. So they were kind of wacky and I really liked their wacky little faces and I had a lot of fun doing those on cereal boxes and Jimmy Dean sausage and all that stuff. That was, was the last one I did I think on the um, cereal boxes and then I thought well you know I'm just going to go get me a sketchbook with toned tan paper and I kind of like it. It was way different to work on than the cardboard. I actually prefer to put cardboard, but I wanted to try something that would be, oh, you know, more saleable. So I tried that. I, just some guy out of a magazine. The hatching, the pen work wasn't coming out quite like it was on the cereal boxes that I liked so much. So um, this is one that I tried from a photo in a Wall Street Journal magazine. Her name is Osaka. She's the first Asian tennis player to be ranked number one in the world. So uh, I tried something else with this one. I tried using some black watercolor for her hair along with the pen and the, and the um, color pencil on the tan. I kind of like the way she turned out. And then I did Ruth Bader Ginsburg she was kind of hard to do. One of the things I've been finding about myself is that if it's just some random person that I pick off the internet or from the sketchy app, I have a really easy time drawing them. And if I pick something that's important to somebody or important to myself, I, I kind of tense up and I have a little issue getting them done. But, oh, and here's one that's in progress. I picked him out of a, a magazine loved the hair, loved the shading. I actually picked him out for the shading and I spent a day or so, well a day actually, okay one class period, working on his face and then going back and making adjustments and making adjustments and measuring before I get him inked up. But one of the nice things about having a series is, you know, if he doesn't turn out, that's okay because I got all these others that I like and I know I'm going to have more pages that I'm going to work on. And this sketchbook probably won't just stay uh, portraits. I might be doing some urban sketching in here too as well. But um, so that's my series. One of my current series is that I'm working on. So yeah, that's one. I'm gonna show you another one.